Hello everyone, welcome to civil engineering and stuff and in today's video lecture we are going to do another numerical on Candy's theory for design of regime channel. So in the previous lecture if you have followed we have discussed about the basics of Candy's theory and we have done a numerical on Candy's theory. This lecture is a continuation of that topic and here in this question we are going to do another form of numerical for the design of regime channel based upon Candy's theory. Now, how this question differs from the previous question is that unlike previous question, here we are given B by D ratio. We, are, we have been given base to depth ratio as 2.5. Now, since we have been given the dimensional constraint, so we have to abide to this value. That is the only difference from the previous question. So, in this case, Unlike the previous question or the design step that we have discussed where, where we assumed any depth value, any depth value we assumed and based upon that we moved ahead towards the design steps. In this question, this is not the case. We have been, since we have been given B by D ratio, so we are, we are going to assume a depth Y and based upon that we are going to move ahead and here we are going to assume a bed slope. Here, as we move ahead, we are going to assume a bed slope, and from there we are going to find out the actual velocity. Okay, so that is the only difference uh, in terms of execution of this uh, numerical example. So the question is that we have to design an irrigation channel to carry 40 cubic of discharge with B by D, that is base to depth ratio as 2.5. The critical velocity ratio is 1 and uh, assume a suitable value of uh, cutter's rugosity coefficient and use Candy's method. So let us do the question. So uh, first of all the given parameters are discharge 40 cubic B by D to be 2.5 and M equal to 1. So again in this question we will follow the design steps and uh, by following the design step uh, we will find out the width of the channel, we will find out the depth of the channel and width to depth ratio should be maintained to be 2.5 so after that we have to find out the bed slope so these are the three parameters that we have to find and uh, then we have to see, see that the critical velocity value that was given by candy should be equal to the actual velocity that will be there in the channel That's, that is when we will get the regime channel ok so on and all the design step will be almost same Alright, so the only difference between this question and the pre previous question was the restriction, the B by D to be 2.5. Okay, so since we are given restriction, so instead of assuming a numerical value, we will uh, assume the depth to be D and proceed with the same design steps. So step 1 will be to assume the depth to be D. So let us assume depth of the channel to be D. So the next step is as by the depth that we have assumed we will find out the critical velocity by the formula given by the Kennedy. all right so the critical velocity formula given by Kennedy is 0.55 m y to the power 0.64 right here the value of m is given as 1 and we have assumed the depth to be d so just putting the values the critical velocity will be 0 0.55 d to the power 0 0.64 all right now the next step will be to find out the area and we will use the relationship between discharge area and velocity velocity being the critical velocity so step 2 will be find out the area through q equals to a into v so through that just by putting the values the value of a will be 40 by v naught value of area will be 40 by v naught all right now let us assume that our channel to be trapezoidal right and uh, for a trapezoidal section again assume that uh, the side slope of that trapezoidal channel is half horizontal is to one vertical okay so let us assume the side slope of the channel to be half horizontal is to one vertical all right 
uh, we can just write down the statement that let us assume the channel to be trapezoidal and side slope of the channel is half horizontal is to one vertical so the area of the formula for finding out the area of trapezoidal section we will use that formula so th the area will be b plus half into d into d so the relation of b by d we are given so through that we will just put the value of b all right so putting the value of b in equation let's say this is equation 1 okay so from this we have find out the value of b right area the relationship we have that is 40 by v0 so putting the value of area from here and b by d from here we will get a relationship between the depth and the critical velocity putting the values the relationship will be 40 by v0 that is the critical velocity is equals to 3d square all right now you see again we have the value of critical velocity right so if we put this value of critical velocity in this equation if we put the value of critical velocity that is 0 0.55 d to the power 0 0.64 in here so we will find the value of d right that is the depth of the channel so let's put the value and solve it for the d okay so the 40 equal to 3d square 0 0.55 d to the power 0 0.64 Solving it for D, we'll have D to be 3.34 meters. Okay, and uh, then we will put the value of D in this relationship, and we'll get the value of width. Okay, so we will we will get the depth of the channel. We will get the width of the channel. All right. The only point that you should note here. Uh, that is we have d to the power 2 and we have d to the power 0 0.64 and uh, when we multiply 3 square with 0 0.55 d to the power 0 0.64 the power to the d will be 2.64 okay not 2 into 0 0.64 this is a, just a basic mistake that uh, normally happens when we hurry up the calculation okay so you see now we have the value of uh, d and value of b so the next step will be to find out finding out the hydraulic mean depth okay if you refer the uh, next step the next step is to find out the hydraulic mean depth and hydraulic mean depth is, is a by p so just by putting the formulas we will get the value of uh, r to be 2.12 meters and while we are here let us put the value of uh, depth of channel and find out the critical velocity so the critical velocity will be 0 0.55 1 to power 0 3.34 to power 0 0.64 the value comes out to be 1.19 meter per second okay okay so now referring to the previous these steps that we have discussed in the previous class okay just refer to those steps and you will see that uh, now we have find out taking the critical velocity as as a parameter we have find out the area we have find out the depth we have find out the width we have find out the hydraulic mean depth okay now uh, what we'll do is we will take a slope value and we will find out the actual velocity okay so the actual velocity is c under root rs and let us assume a bed slope to be 1 by 4000 and the cutter's rugosity coefficient to be 0 0.023 this is the normal value of uh, cutter's rugosity coefficient so taking this value and uh, putting the value finding out the coefficient c and through that finding out the actual velocity to be 1.15 meter per second and if you here we'll observe that the actual velocity is less than the critical velocity okay and uh, as discussed in the previous class we have discussed that the 
axial velocity and critical velocity should be equal up to at least two decimal places right but here since the velocity is differing right so we will again have to assume a different slope value and check for the actual velocity all right so again what we'll do is we will just uh, redo the so what we'll do is we will assume a new slope value and uh, then we will find out the new actual velocity and we'll see if this new actual velocity is equal to the critical velocity so since here the value of actual velocity is less so what we'll do is we will make the value of slope to be steeper right so considering the slope to be 1 by 3700 and repeating the same process as above so the value comes out to be just putting the values so this comes out to be 1.19 meter per second okay so by considering new slope value by considering new slope value the actual velocity comes out to be 1.19 meter per second and here the value of actual velocity is equal to critical velocity for the given bed slope okay so the dimension of trapezoidal section that we are going to use for the construction of a regime channel through Kennedy's design method will be the depth of the channel section will be 3.34 meter width will be 8.35 meter the side slope value will be half horizontal is to one vertical and the bed slope will be 1 by 3700 okay so this is the design of irrigation channel based upon Kennedy's method. Alright, so this is all for this lecture. Thank you for watching. If you feel the lecture was useful to you, like the video, comment your views in the comment section and share among your friends this lecture. And for more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the regular notification. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.